is they towed his bicycle. They called the tow truck out. I mean, I, I wish I could have seen a video of this. Like, a flatbed tow truck, and you put a bicycle on it and, tow, and tie it down? Seriously? And they stole his bike and impounded it. And of course, it did have a little 47cc motor on it. So it was like totally illegal. Mark was there and he confronted these cops and he was using the Socratic method of of trying to get at these people, you know, ask them, well, you tell, tell us exactly what you said to the cops. Because it was, it was interesting. The cop kept on trying to justify what he was doing. And, and uh, Mark kept on pressing. <laughs> I'm at the, shut him off, dude. The, done. This together the in the mic. Down to Closer. What I did was, and he yeah, was, he was right? very calm. He was, he was, you know, he, had, he was, he was behind the bulletproof glass, right? And he was very calm, and he was just paying, you know, watching what we were doing, and you know, paying attention, and he was very, very calm, and didn't show any real emotion at, at all. And I figured out well, we've spent enough time here. Let me ask you a question: Is it if the three of us, meaning me, you, and, and Chris? If, if we did business in the same manner as government, you know, we collected our money and got our support exactly the same way that government does, would you guys think we were criminals? And he goes, that's it, I've had enough. That's it. He goes, <laughs> get out of here. And Mark was like, what's wrong? Why can't I just ask you the question? I don't want to talk. I, you just, just leave. What are you going to do? You're going to arrest me now for asking a question? Not me. I said, well, before I go, because I'll leave, right? Let me just ask you one last question. Why did that offend you so much? Because he said it's offensive. Yeah. Why did it offend you so much? He wouldn't answer. Well, well, <laughs> he, would not, he wouldn't answer. Because yeah. it finally it hit the nerve. Yeah. It finally hit the nerve of like really what was going on. And it's kind of like poking somebody and then they finally waking up like, what do you, so when you're calling me a criminal? And, and deep down, I think he really knows he is. So that just kind of pushed a button where he just wanted to put his fingers in his ear and go, la, 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 I don't want to hear you, just get out. Because it, it, it brings some kind of pain to him to hear that kind of thing. You know, it's like it's like saying a, 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 a Marine is a terrorist. A Marine that knows what he's doing over there, that knows the whole war is a scam, and he continually bombs people, breaks into people's houses, threatens people, puts bags over people's heads, when he knows the whole game is a total scam, and he's just an evil son of a bitch. That's a terrorist. But if you go out and call somebody that, a Marine, somebody will just freak. I don't want anything to do with it, I'm done. You know, instead of really examining the whole situation, of, I, I'm talking about a Marine that exactly knows what he's doing, that knows what, you know, the whole thing's a scam. That That's the type of cop that he was probably getting it, he was probably figuring out that maybe what we are doing is criminal. And that touched a nerve with him, and he wanted Mark to leave, like, now. Yeah, and we did, and we did. I guess, I guess in a way, it was a backhanded way, or a, a more, you know, covert way of me calling him a criminal, but I did it in a much better manner by putting it in the form of a You were nice about it. I was nice about it, and he threatened me with arrest for doing that. So if you want to get a response like that, you could just ask them, if we collected our money in the same manner and had the same support as government has, would we be criminals? See the response. You get the same response. Right. But we will expose anybody that does any wrongdoing to you, such as cops or anything like that. You have to carry a camera on you. Phone, it's something like that. Do not walk around on these streets without some kind of audio or video recorder. Period. But if anybody has any interesting video, a lot of people don't realize they'll have a video and they don't think it's really Sorry. any good. Well, send it to me and let me check it out and we will maybe do a video on it.